Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is almost St. Patrick's Day, and this year is moving right along. Like, how is it already almost March? I can't believe it, but I'm here for it because that means that the weather is getting nicer, it's getting a little sunnier, and I might look a little bit less pale soon, hopefully. No promises on that one, though, because it's me you're talking about. So today I am going to be filming a St. Patrick's Day clean and decorate with me. We're gonna be shaking our shamrocks today while we decorate for St. Patrick's Day and I have so much fun stuff in store. I'm so excited. I love every holiday, you guys know that. I'm here for every holiday and I gotta do a little something for every holiday. Like, I can't just let a holiday pass without doing at least a little bit of decorating. So, Today we're decorating for St. Patrick's Day and you gotta let me know, do you decorate for St. Patrick's Day or is it just kind of one of those holidays that you're just like, eh. I mean, I decorate for almost every holiday that you can buy decorations for. So, I mean, I'm just like a weirdo like that. I don't know. I've got my leprechauns and my shamrocks up and I've even got my shamrock earrings on today. So, we're decorating, we're cleaning a little bit and I've also got some really fun activities for St. Patrick's Day just to bring a little bit of magic to your house, you know? Help you be that Pinterest mom that you wanna be but don't have time to be like me. I've got some really simple, fun ideas for you. So, let the shenanigans begin because we are about to start decorating. So I love arranging flowers. Something about having fresh flowers in my house just makes me feel like I have my life together. And I am all for doing anything that gives you that feeling. You have to romanticize your life a little bit because no one else is gonna do it for you. So I buy fresh flowers all the time. My favorite places to shop for them are Publix or Trader Joe's because their flowers are the prettiest and last the longest. Carnations and daisies have a long life as long as you change their water often and they're pretty inexpensive, so that's what I'm using here. It's just one of those things that I like to have around. The little things you enjoy in life and wanna have in your home might seem like a waste, but it's not, I promise. It helps you set the energy for your house, helps you love your house, and contributes to positive feelings that make your day better. So buy the flowers or the good coffee or whatever helps you love your life a little bit more. If you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is Really Rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and motherhood, and I like to keep it real because honestly, I'm somewhere in between Pinterest mom and Hot Mess Express. I live in North Carolina, I have two daughters who are five and nine, and I am married to my husband, Tim, who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. I'm your new mom friend who's going to encourage you, give you great life hacks to be the Pinterest mom you always wanted to be, and I don't make you feel bad because my house isn't perfect either, and it's not always clean either. So let's be friends. I would love to have you subscribe. I try to put up two videos per week here on YouTube and I also post a lot on TikTok and Instagram. Well, slap my shamrock and call me a leprechaun, y'all. It is time to put out the decorations and the first place to decorate is this bar cart. I raved about loving this bar cart for so long, and I do, but I recently have been trying to maybe find a new piece of furniture to go by the table. I kind of want like a sideboard or a buffet table so I have some storage and to kind of level up my house with a few more traditional pieces, but for now, I obviously have to decorate my bar cart for St. Patrick's Day. I put the flowers on there that we just arranged and a few new little items I picked up from Hobby Lobby and of course my occasion spin. The rainbow plates and napkins came from Dollar Tree and the straws are from Christmas tree shops. It's just like a fun little space to add in some decor and to get some St. Patrick's Day vibes going in here. Thank you. 
On the cabinet in my living room, I also added some decor. I actually cannot find any of my St. Patrick's Day decor I had last year. It's probably buried in my decoration shed outside if I'm being honest, but that meant that this year I had to go buy new stuff because I could not find it for the life of me. Hobby Lobby, Christmas tree shops, and the Dollar Tree were my go-to for buying all this new stuff. Dollar Tree is actually not Dollar Tree where I live anymore. It's now Dollar 25 Tree, which really throws me off, y'all. Have they made the switch where you live yet for this whole like Dollar 25 thing? So of course I gotta share a fun little St. Patrick's Day recipe with y'all. So we're making pancakes. Welcome to breakfast at my house. These are easy, yummy, and they actually freeze really well too. We're out of pancake mix, so I whipped up some of my own and Cadence wanted to help, so she did most of the work. We added in some green food coloring, of course, and then cooked them on the flat top. I picked out the marshmallows from some Lucky Charms for a little garnish, and I made some homemade whipped cream to go with it. Making homemade whipped cream is actually super easy. It just is really tiring if you don't have a mixer. But it turned out so good, and the kids loved it. These would also make really great waffles, too. It's just like a simple way to elevate something that you probably already have, pancake mix, and make it magical for the holiday. So I gotta take a minute to tell y'all what you can expect on my channel coming up. It's my chance now to convince you to subscribe because not only am I super cool, but I have some super amazing plans this spring too that you don't wanna miss. Next up after this, I'm gonna be sharing my master bedroom makeover. I'm so excited to create a space that I love for our bedroom and I'm changing up the decor completely, like less farmhouse, but more like transitional decor style. Then I'm gonna be having some fun doing Easter decor, spring decor, and doing a front porch makeover for spring, of course. So many fun plans and I'm so ready for spring and I want you to be there, so please subscribe. I don't want you to miss out. always needed a little tidy up before we changed out anything but I did change out my pillow covers to some beautiful green velvet ones I got from Amazon. I'm gonna make sure to link everything down below for y'all so check down there if you're curious. My pillow covers were actually under $10 for a set of two which is much cheaper than actual throw pillows and way easier to store. As the 
more St. Patty's Day vibes to the house, I restocked my little glass containers with some mint Oreos, Lucky Charms, and Rolos. All these snacks just fit right in with the St. Patty's theme, you know? And they will surely be eaten before St. Patrick's Day in this house. I mean, can you blame us? After all, Lucky Charms are, what do they call it? Magically delicious, and I magically wanna eat every bit of them. Picked up this shamrock wreath form from Dollar 25 Tree, and I wanted to make something for the front door with it. I wanted it to be like minimal, so I used this garland that I already had to wrap around it. It took a little bit of work to get it to look right, and I would recommend maybe some zip ties if you want to do this also, or like some flower wire, but I really like how it turned out. A super inexpensive DIY with items that I already had to create something simple for the door, and that's all I really needed. Of course I had to change out my flags. I can thank my mother for my giant collection of holiday flags. I actually have three holiday flags for St. Patrick's Day, but this is my favorite one. So that's what gets put out this year. Before we finish decorating, I wanna share another Pinterest-worthy treat that is super easy. I grabbed some lime sherbet and ginger ale to make a really yummy float. It was not as green as I would have liked though, so I did add some food coloring too. And it came out a perfect color for St. Patty's Day. It was a hit with the kids and a little different than the usual mint chocolate chip flavor you see for St. Patrick's Day. But speaking of mint chocolate chip, did y'all see that McDonald's has their shamrock shake back? Because I'm going to have to get me one of those. But this was really, really good, super easy, and it, was, it went over really well. everyone on track and know what's going on in my life I've been filling out this calendar every month because I'm extra I also like to decorate it and put some doodles on it for the month too I have magnets on the back of it and attach it to the door that leads to the garage in the kitchen so everyone can see and there are zero excuses for not knowing what's happening or when an appointment is just to be clear though, this is in addition to the shared family calendar we have on our phones too. But I just like to have a visual and I like to decorate this board. It's fun and festive like me. And you know what? I think it's cute. But tell me, how do you keep everybody in the know in your house? Do you have like a family calendar like this? Or do you use your phone? Or do you just do it all? Because I have to have people to remind me. So I set it up to alert everyone's phone in my house when something's going to happen. So to be honest with y'all, I have no true idea if I am Irish whatsoever, despite how much I love St. Patrick's Day. Did you know that both my parents are adopted? My mother actually knows very little about her heritage except 
Um, she thinks that her grandparents were Irish, so I just like to roll with that. I do wear a Clotta ring though, so maybe one day I'll get a 23andMe test and I'll get to know a little bit more about my heritage. What about you? Do you know much about your ancestors or where they're from? I always envy people who know a lot about their family history, honestly. I've never had that, so I just think it's really cool. I want to thank y'all for watching and sham rocking with me today while I decorated for St. Patrick's Day. Whether you're Irish for real or just Irish on St. Patty's Day, I love you all and you're each my lucky charm. Okay, that's enough St. Patty's Day puns for one day, but seriously, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here, and if no one told you today, you're doing a really great job. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.